When it comes to strength training for cycling, one of the most important things for us to reduce the incidence of back pain and to be able to move well is to learn how to move from the hips while keeping a neutral spine. Today's exercise, the Cossack squat with the landmine apparatus, where actually you don't even need it, uh, is gonna teach you how to be able to keep a nice, straight, neutral spine and move from the hips. When it comes to using a landmine apparatus or a landmine exercise, a lot of people complain that they don't have the apparatus. As you can see here, you just need a 10 kilo or 20 kilo plate. And as you've seen in the landmine press, which we've commented up above, it's somewhere up here, I don't remember which side it is, uh, you'll actually learn how to do a landmine press. However, today we're gonna look at a Cossack squat, which is gonna get you to be able to lengthen the adductors while keeping nice neutral spine and moving side to side from the hip. Let's take a look at what that would look like. So Jordana's gonna start off with a low squat you can use a bumper plate for this uh, to help you bring the weight off the floor. Now you'll notice if Jordana tries to stand tall, the bar is gonna be too far ahead of her. So she's gonna stand tall with the bar, find a nice neutral position. This is important because we need that neutral spine. From here, she's gonna get into the bottom of her squat where she maintains a nice neutral spine position. There we go. Now from here, we can take the feet a little bit wider and now she's just gonna move from the hips side to side, keeping her spine neutral and she's going to try and stay in the bottom of her squat moving side to side feeling the glute activate on the back leg or the lead leg rather and the adductors activate on the back leg and we're just going to go for a set of three to five start small with this because this is going to be a very different exercise you do not need a lot of weight for this in fact the empty empty bar for most of us is more than enough for the first two or three weeks this is a very different movement than you're used to Two common mistakes is letting the knees go too far outside the foot or going too far inside the foot. Notice that she's moving the hip behind the knee, not letting the knee dive to the outside and not lifting her toes off the ground. You do not need a lot of weight for this. Last one and then we'll stand. There you go. And then back neutral, fix the feet and back down. This is exactly the way I would like for you to practice it. Some people will have you start off in a sumo squat. However, when we change to a wider stance, especially after being on the bike so many hours, that leads us to using the wrong muscles and not allowing us to have great postures and positions. Joint position dictates muscle function. And if you took my Training Peaks University course of strength training for triathlon success, that will have been ingrained in your head. So make sure you're paying attention to how you set up and you get, again, you do not need heavy weight for this. So take your time, learn, stand, squat, nice and wide. And then again, it's just taking the bar side to side keeping a neutral spine. She did a fantastic job with this and she's an athlete. It may not look that pretty. So if you're unsure as to whether or not you're doing it correctly, take your camera on your phone, put it at the side and watch your spine and your hips. Start off with two sets of three to five each side, moving side to side and be gentle. Do not load this movement for two to three weeks. Instead, look to add one to four repetitions Four is you feel amazing, you have great movement, you have great 360 degree bracing, but if not, stay at however many reps you need to have high quality repetitions. Your improvement comes from improving how you're doing the exercise, not simply doing more repetitions or more weight. Now, if you found this video useful in teaching you how to do the landmine Cossack squat, make sure you're hitting subscribe down below and head on over to the Human Vortex Training website to download your free gift. Until next time, remember, train smarter, not harder, because it is all about you.